We are now just one week away from when I can reapply for monetization. So that means I've got to make sure my content is extra clean. I'm, you know, on YouTube's extra good list. I'm being a good boy. I'm doing everything right. And what better way to make sure of that than by talking about Jake Paul? We're pulling a keemster on this one today, boys. Now, I covered a couple uh, Jake Paul stories last week, one of him going to the uh, protests and actually looting, and uh, two, which was the possibility of him being arrested. Now, we're here for our third update to this story, and I gotta be careful here because if I make too many videos on Jake Paul, then my 16,000 sub channel will be harassing and bullying his like 20 million sub channels. So I, gotta, I gotta make sure I don't make too many. But I am talking about this because it's in the news. I'm not a news channel, but I talk about stuff that is in the news and give my opinion. And, you know, it's just kind of funny. It actually kind of shows what we already know, which is that these celebrities, these social media stars, when they have to issue out these, you know, notes app apologies, they don't mean anything that they're saying. They basically just say the things that sound right at the moment so they can get all this hate off their back. And then go out and do the same thing again. They're uh, reprehensible people and they do and say reprehensible things to get away with other reprehensible things. It's just this circle of just cancer and that's why I hate social media stars, celebrities. For the most part, there are some not, not all social media stars, alright? Hashtag not all, but most, alright? I'll say that. What are we talking about? Now, just in case you suck and you have no idea what's going on, this is basically the footage right here. I'm pulling it from Insider, Inside Edition, rather. He was caught, well, not really caught, he was recording it himself, but uh, he was caught looting, which was something he didn't make apparent, or at least uh, supporting the looting. People around him were looting, and he was, uh, somebody had gone into a P of Ching's and taken a bottle of vodka and given it to him or whatever. He came out with this apology video on his YouTube channel and a notes app apology, basically saying, like, it was chaotic, he had no idea what was going on, he didn't know people were looting, and somebody had just quickly given him the bottle, and he had no idea what it was, and he'd, he'd testifies he just never was looting, it was all a lie or whatever, and people drew their own conclusions from there, whether they believed him or not. Now, there was a story afterwards that was discussing uh, him taking credit for a Black Lives Matter donation link. He had included, and I can show this right now, this is all just catch up or review, but he had included a... Uh, a link in his uh, situation video. You can see right here that was uh, already done by somebody else and they had collected a bunch of money. Jake Paul added about $10,000 to this donation link, but they had raised a lot more money and he had claimed credit for the entire donation on Twitter. <laughs> so immediately after this guy was like, oh, we need to apologize. We need to take this seriously. We need to calm down and chill out. He was caught doing something else disgusting as, as Jake Paul does. Well, here we got footage right here, and we'll go over whether this is real or fake, but Kava supposed this. Jake Paul arrested at his house, or so it seems, but he's faked this shit before, so we can't say for certain, unfortunately. Let's take a look here at this footage. We're, we're, on, we're on him, dude. Hello? That is, uh, Jake Paul. Getting arrested. <laughs> now, if you look right here, something to notice. Okay, so that's Jake Paul right there. Obviously, it looks exactly like him. I don't think it's like some like stunt double thing or whatever going on here. But if you look, there's no license plate on the car, which is very suspicious. Now, we'll take a look at uh, this in just a second. We got an article here going into it by Dexterdo. Jake Paul allegedly arrested after looting charges, but is it real? The 23-year-old came under fire after videos were posted of him being present during riots in Scottsville, Arizona, May 30th. We've already gone over that. Was Jake Paul arrested? The video appears to show Jake getting put into the back of a police car outside his house by two male officers while the person recording it exclaims, we're on it, we're on it, dude. As though to reassure him, they'd get him out of custody as soon as they could. I like how these articles are written. Jesus, bro, they continue as they pan the camera around to show another law officer vehicle parked next to the first one. Bro, this is fucked. The legitimacy of the arrest appears to be doubted by many online, especially due to the fact that neither cars have license plates or say a town or city on the side, as is common with U.S. police vehicles. Twitter user Haybird also pointed out that the cars look awfully similar to fake ones hired actors use when performing stunts, indicating that this could all just be an act for an upcoming video about the charges. And we could pull this up right here. 
Yeah, when so so here's you know police that you know when they when they're doing like a you know a stunt for I guess like a, a movie or a TV show or whatever, and it looks exactly the same. You got the generic police logo on the side of the car. And I think we can see this is obviously fake. Even uh, if you look at uh, Kavis's original tweet, Keemstar's in the reply is saying that it's fake, and well, he is the uh, number one news source. <laughs> the no- <laughs> The number one news source on Jake Paul. He is out there delivering the news. Um, he, he's doing the news on Jake Paul. So I'd have reason to uh, to value his take on this situation. The article goes on to say, It's currently unclear at the time of writing as to whether the content creator was actually brought into custody or not, or whether it was simply a stage for a future project. Jake was pranked by being arrested by fake cops for Curtis Lepore's YouTube channel in 2017, which also adds to speculation. Neither Jake or his brother Logan have spoken out about the incident on social media, leaving fans confused as to whether he's actually in custody or not. According to Sergeant Benjamin Hoster from Scottsdale PD, the YouTuber star is due to appear in court in a month over the charges so it's a mystery as to why they'd be arresting him now if he actually was of course which is what i was thinking too like why would he be arrested now it it couldn't be in relation to the looting because they wouldn't arrest him like a week after the fact if they're going to arrest him they would have done it that night um this just doesn't make any sense at all i think it's pretty obvious that this shit's fake the video hasn't actually really blown up now the the original source video of this only has a hundred thousand views on twitter which is nothing so nobody's really caught on to the story, as it seems like everybody's pretty uh, aware that this shit is pretty fake. But uh, in case it were to blow up, I'm here on the record saying right now, in my opinion, this shit is fake as hell. I don't believe it at all. Um, I did look up Jake Paul's Twitter account, and he is uh, he's been he's been pretty silent for some reason. Not sure why. We're I'm not sure what the big man's up to, but yeah, his his last tweet he was a retweeted King Bach, but his last tweet himself was June fourth, uh, ten days ago. As of this recording, he's not really been active at all, except for his terrible <laughs> apology. I love this. I understand the anger and frustration that led to the destruction we witnessed, and while it's not the answer, it's important that people see it and collectively figure out how to move forward in a healthy way. So I'm going to fake my arrest <laughs> for a YouTube video. We're all doing the best we can to be helpful and raise and raise awareness. This is not the time to attack each other. It is the time to join together and evolve. This was written right after he sold credit for a donation to a Block Loves Matter charity, which was just... This guy, he just has no remorse whatsoever. He does not care. He doesn't give a fuck. Um, He'll still issue the apology. He's not going to go the full mile and just be like, you know, full-on fuck the optics. But for the most part, this guy just, just has no care in the world. And, uh, he lives off the negative tension. I think it's obvious here. I actually didn't see this, but apparently Ninja had wrote a while back ago, uh, about a week ago. Dear Jake Paul, I feel you truly believe in your head that what... Dear Jake Paul, I feel you truly believe in your head that you are doing the good thing or right thing sometimes, but you always just miss the mark. I recommend getting an advisor or a moral consultant to run your stuff by. Like, if you just did your own charity link, no harm here. Of course, referencing the Black Lives Matter charity uh, thing that he had taken credit for. I think a lot of people are missing the point. This guy doesn't care. He doesn't, you know, again, he this negative attention he gets, uh, he thrives off of it. The only reason why I'm giving him that attention is because I thrive from it as well. It's a, it's mutual. But I think a lot of people that look at Jake Paul in some sort of hopeful or optimistic way, saying like, ooh, maybe he'll just get better if we just, if he just tries, they're missing the point. He's not going to get better. He's never going to get better. He is Jake Paul. He's there to make money. He's not there to get better or be a good person. And he's a social media star, first and foremost. And that's what he is. And people need to start getting used to it and stop having this like hopelessly optimistic viewpoint on certain people, just hoping, praying that oh maybe this guy will get better. He's not. No, none of these people are. They're just YouTubers at the end of the day. My name's Alger. See, this is all I got for you guys. Take care. Have a good day.